Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today, I'm very excited to have Gabriel and Nilly with Van Packers Conversion up in Montreal, Canada. They have a really cool, budget-friendly kit. It's plug and play that you can put in a minivan. Today, they're gonna to give us a full tour inside and out, so join us. Hello, Pat, hello, everybody. I'm Gab, she is Nelly. Hi. And we are very pleased to be here today and, uh, and give you a little van tour of our minivan uh, from Van Packers. Uh, we have a plug and play conversion kit that we install in the minivan in five minutes. It has a bed, it has a tiny living room inside, it has a multiple bed position, and also a kitchen in the rear. This is my minivan, it's a Dodge Grand Caravan 2011. Um, this is the type of minivan that I decided to get at the very beginning in 2017 when I started the business for the minivan rental. So for over two years we rented the minivan and improved our conversion kit. And in 2020, recently, two years back, we started to sell this conversion kit. Thanks to the knowledge we had with over a thousand customers, then it was really nice so we could get all the tips and how to improve our conversion kit. From this point, we decided to get a kit that could fit in most of the minivans. So we're talking about the Toyota Sienna, Chrysler Pacifica, Dodge Grand Caravan, Honda Odyssey, most of the minivan that we can find in North America. Then we decided to get a, a kit adjusted to those vehicles. So basically, this kit, um, we worked for over two years about the design. Uh, we really work on the hedges and on all the pieces here, like just to help open the kit. Um, this is birch, this is 15 millimeter birch, it's a multiply. So we really wanted to keep that one uh, for the durability and the strength of the kit. All the varnish is UV varnished on the kit, on the wood, all over. So we make sure it's durable and it's very strong. So here you can see it. I'm not too tall, I'm 5'8", but it's quite cool because you can lay back and sit very easily in the minivan. You have a lot of space to be two people. You can sit on one side or on the other side. There is a lot of space for that. We have a rear module here and we have two front module. So the two boxes are separated. So that way we can make easy to remove them in and out of the vehicle. And also we can store them on the bike. I'm gonna show you after that. This is very convenient because you will not always use your conversion kit and you will not be camping all day long, maybe just for the weekend or for long weekends. So that way you just put the box on the top, unfold the seats and you can bring the kids or friends or you can keep it wide open so you can use it as a storage place. Basically what we wanted is something that was not too expensive so people can afford to go on a camping trip without spending a huge amount of money. Those boxes here, as you can see, so there is a strut in the front. On the back, we have some wood arms to help support the weight. We worked everything with CNC. So all the edges, all the hinges here, they're cut it into the wood to make sure nothing moves and it is quite stable. Every detail that you see here, the holes, all the curves here, they all have been designed for a specific purpose in the, into the vehicle. All of this, this can be removed and um, you can access from the top and from the left. And now I'm gonna show you, so if you wanna put it on the back, then it's quite easy. Just remove the pillow and I'll put this one on the side because I want you to keep having the view and you can take it very easily. This is the right way to do. So how we make sure that this does not move into the vehicle is because under the boxes we made some legs that are adjusted to the base here and you can also see those kind of legs here. So how we do is we use those legs to the anchors of the vehicle to make sure it does not move. So when we take the box and we put it on the top then it fits specifically. So if you want to check it out there are holes all over. Every hole has a reason to be here and when you put it back, then it does not move. That is a good point, and this is why I really like the Dodge Grand Caravan, is because you've got the stow and co options. So if you want to travel four person, you can. You can have four seats with the seat belts, and you can have the boxes, the bed inside for two person, and you can add a rooftop tent on the top of the vehicle. That way that will allow you to travel with kids or friends for road trips, which is super cool. For the other kind of vehicles, the Toyota Sienna, the Pacifica Hybrid, or any other vehicles, we use the rails that are already in the floor 
Uh, we've been designing with an engineer for a year and a half every piece is to make sure nothing moves in the vehicle. As we're in the rental business mostly, it was very important for the security of our customers traveling from Europe and all over. So we really focused on that part. Here, what you can see here is pretty much the same as you can see here. This is our outdoor table leg. So as you figured out, a minivan is quite tiny. Uh, it's your tiny house on wheels and we really wanted to save some space. So what we decided is to have this and to be able to use it on an outdoor table leg. I will show you right after when we'll be at the kitchen part, how to use it and how convenient it is when you want to cook and, and enjoy your supper. So this can be used outside. I'll bring it outside after a while and uh, you will figure it out. We have had a question um, from a lot of people on how to have toilets into the minivan. Uh, that was quite a struggle. That's why we decided to have a toilet option here. So basically we, will, um, des we designed a new board that can welcome four different brands of toilets that we tell the people which brands they are. We don't sell them, but you can find them easily online in a different hardware store. And the base is also different. So you will have a hidden toilet into this tiny box. And that is very convenient when you're on a trip and you like to do camping in cities, that can be very useful. So we've got storage in front. We've got storage under that too. So let me show you, we have those harm. And now you might be wondering why we did not use the um, strut on the back too. Well, it's quite easy. When you open the box like this, you usually have the pillows and you have um, weight and duvet on the top and the strut were not strong enough and they were to deform the wood. So we decided to have some wood arms to help support the weight and keep it open. You've got a lot of place for storage in there, uh, which is very convenient. We usually split uh, with Nelly, she take this side and put all her clothes. I took this side and here we put the stuff that we don't use every day or um, when we don't go camping then we can keep the dirt and part of the camping stuff under the bed. So once again every hall has been designed for a specific reason. This is another uh, specificity of our conversion kit. We have a table, an inside table, that you can use a different position and you just put it like this down to the bottom. Thank you. You take the table leg and there you have a table. When I go camping, I really like to keep the table on the right side because that way I think it gives me more space into the vehicle to have kind of a tiny living room, you know? But you also have the option to move this, this table leg into the middle here. You can just remove this. You can put it here. You can put it on this side here. And finally, you can also put it right in the middle here. At night, like yesterday night when it was raining a lot, then that was super cool because you can play cards, you can eat inside. So now you're wondering, that's a super cool living room, but how do I sleep then? Um, there are two options for you to sleep. You can do a single bed or a double bed, up to you how you decide to travel. If you decide to do a single bed, this is what I really like, because what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking this table, put it here. So you might have noticed all those pieces of wood here. You've got a few of them here, is to make sure we can put the junction between the front box and the rear module. Tiny detail, because I know Pat, you love the details. Here you can see it's flat, it's curved, but here it's, um, there is an extra piece. That way, when you get into the vehicle, your leg won't touch this part. So this is all the details that we have thought about during the last winter. Usually, I'll take the biggest one. We have three different sizes of mattresses. So I'll take the biggest one, I'll put it in the middle, just to have a large single bed. And then I'll put that one on the back. So if you do it that way, that is super cool because you can sleep into the vehicle, but you can also use it as a table, you know? So it's allowed you to have a lot of space. And you can also do another thing is that 
you can remove one of the box, leave it at home if you want, and that will give you an extra storage space here. So let me show you if I remove one box, you will see all the all the empty space that you have. Just gonna take this and remove it. So you might have noticed about the floor and you're like, what is that? I want the same. Um, at the very beginning of the rental business, we just had normal carpets. And we figured out that normal carpets are very tough to clean. And when you're on, on a camping trip, then you have sand, you have dust. So putting a vinyl on the floor is very the most convenient way we have found to make sure it's easy to clean every day. The vinyl is not included in, with the conversion kit, but you can find it at most of the home hardware or any hardware store be, nearby your place. You've seen the mattresses. We decided to get with, to go ahead with this color because we found it, it was super cool for the, the camping. And um, all the mattresses that comes along with the kit, there are three hinges. They are high density mattress, so they are very comfy. And they all have a zipper, so it's very easy to remove them and clean them out. It's all handmade in Montreal by a friend of mine. So this is the three inches mattress, but we know that some customers would like a bit more comfort, so we also have an option with the four inches mattress. So now what you see is a single bed option. I want to show you with the double bed, what you can do is take off the table, remove the leg, and do exactly the same as on the other side. We'll put it here, here, and then that will allow you to make this double bed. So yeah, I'm 175 centimeters. Uh, I guess it is 5'8 inches and I fit perfectly into the minivan. So the bed is 48 by 72. Uh, obviously, if you're taller, then you have a super good option is to put the seats in front. So Nelly, do you want to show? So if we put the seat in front, then you will get almost an extra fit for the legs. We have had customers with 6'3", and they slip super well into the, into the minivan. So we used the maximum of the space we could use. And you know, even thinking about the eight of the conversion kits, because when you think I can do it myself, blah, 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 just think about the height. You need to find the perfect size between storage and being able to sit conveniently or to sit well into your minivan. I'm sure you will be very interested about seeing how the kitchen looks like, eh? So I'll show you on the way back. All right, so what I told you about the table leg earlier, um, this is what we do. So the table leg, you can use it outside. Take the stick. It's a five inches stick, uh, table leg. So you might think it's very short, but trust me, when you're in your camping chair, this is the perfect way to have a glass of wine or a beer. You are at the good height. You have noticed the kitchen on the back, and this is the wow of our conversion kits. So the front side and the rear side, they are divided. We wanted to make a very separated part because cooking in the camping trip is very important. So we wanted to have a real kitchen. So on the right side, we decided to have a cooler space. Um, the cooler is not included with the kit, but there are tons of brands. Um, this one is an Alpicol C30, and there is also the Alpicol C40 that can fit, or any 30 to 40 liter um, cooler uh, can work. This one is a compressor cooler. So we have everything because we're on the trip. You can see we have a pint of uh, milk and, uh, and a, throw, uh, a few microbrewery beers. <laughs> Those coolers are super cool because they can go up to minus 20 Celsius and uh, if you connect them to a small battery like an Energizer 550 watt for instance, you can get two, two and a half day of autonomy without using a solar panel or charging the battery. So that's why you, those new coolers are very convenient for this kind of road trip. Now we have thought about all the details to make sure this fits. So here there are two things that you can see. There is a hole here. This hole is if you have a bigger or shorter cooler, then just to make sure it doesn't move when you ride. And there is an extra hole here. This one is my, uh, I, I'm quite proud of that because every time when you try to clean something into a drawer, then 
it goes into the corner and you do not know how to put them out. So by having this hole in all of the pieces of the kit, then it makes it easier to clean. Once again, the fact that we rented minivan for five years and that I cleaned those minivans so many times, then we get to know what, how to be more efficient. You can notice again, we've worked on all the hedges, um, all the forms, the geometry was, uh, we, we really worked hard on that. And um, even all the small pieces. So here, I'm gonna take that drawer out. You can see to hide the rails that we even cut it uh, with the CNC, do small pieces here to fit. So we have three drawers on the back. This one is the first one. Uh, we really like it because if you can see that, we have a place to store the propane bottle. And uh, all the time you're wondering, where do I put my bottle of propane? So you can put two on the rear module here. We also sell this um, flexible propane hose. So you can connect it to the bottle and then connect it to the right side of the stove. When you cook, you want to make sure nothing moves. So there's two things. First one is here. We have an extra piece of wood that just fits perfectly into the kit, into the stove, sorry. So this does not move. And secondly, if you're on an inclined road, then we included the brake on all of our drawers. You can just put this to the top and then make sure this won't go inside. Under this, as you might see, we have a cutboard here, but we left a hole. Uh, I don't know if you can film that one. I'm pretty sure that you do. So this here will allow you to put a five pound propane bottle. Um, so if you're going on a long trip and you don't want to change your uh, one pound propane bottle, then this will give you more autonomy for a long time. If you do not use it, then you have an extra space so you can put all the utensil and all the stuff that you need. I'll show you the top drawer. So you've got a 20 liter water tank, it's included with the kit. You've got again that same break here, so you make sure it doesn't fall in. One of the advantage of having this water tank on the drawer is that you can wash your hand outside the vehicle, which is the main reason why we wanted this on a drawer. And the second point is this one here. So this box is removable. You see the hole here? It goes with this. So by having this, there is two things. First one is, it doesn't move into the car. And second, second thing is, when you put it on an outdoor table, um, let's say it's been raining yesterday and it's wet, then the wood, the dry wood, won't be against the, the wet wood. There is quite a lot of space in there. You can put um, quite a few things. You've got a second drawer. This one's my favorite. It's my Contour top, and I really like that sink. You can just put it on like this. This is my wow effect all the time. It's like put it up, put it down. Really like it. So you can clean your dishes that way. You can even clean your hair if needed, and you're in a place where you can't. Then you just use it, and you remove it, and you throw it out. If it's a cooking time and you want to get the big contour top, then you can just put your cut board on this and that's very convenient to cook and this is why we really like the conversion kit like this is you get a cook you get some space for your things and on the right side you've got the stove you get access to the cooler at the same time it's not a problem the stove doesn't block the access here you've got an extra um, storage space a kind of table we put in two benches on the back um, so you can store your stuff and it won't be moving when you are traveling. Under this, and like if you have a minivan, you already know that there is a third row and the row goes into the floor. Then with our kit, you have the option to remove the third row or not. You choose it. If you remove the third row, then we have an access and that will give you an extra storage space. If you get the dimension of this space, then you can find some storage box at uh, another shop nearby your place again. Now here, you can see all the plates we have, and if we remove that one, then you've got the access here. So what we do is, under this, we put the camping chair. So you can remove them, and like I told you, this is the perfect size for the table, the, the outdoor table. It's too early for me to have a beer, but that will give you an idea that you're in the good hay. 
So this storage here, uh, it's quite big. You can put a lot of stuff. Usually we put the things that we don't use on an everyday base or uh, the thing that we don't want to get uh, some dust inside the vehicle or dirt. So the table, since it goes on the floor all the time, we put it down there. If you decide not to remove the third row, it's not a problem. The conversion kit will fit perfectly the same way. All right, so now you've seen the kitchen and uh, you might be wondering how the electric cooler works. So how we did is that we connected the cooler to the external battery. Um, I talked earlier about the Energizer 550 watt. So it's connected here. So I also use it um, for my computer, for my phone charging. There are so many brands that can work. Energizer is the brand that we carry, but you can also use Blue ET or uh, Jackery or whatever brands that works. So the kit is like this. Um, I told you earlier that you can unfold the seat and travel four person. We had a big challenge when we started this. The roof rack originally with the Dodge Green Caravan was not strong enough. So we designed with a company in Quebec named Remora, we designed a roof rack for Dodge Grand Caravan. It's all in aluminum and we use the studs that are already going out from the roof. So we don't make holes into the roof. And that is a super cool upgrade and that allows you to travel with a rooftop tent on the top of this. You can get a rooftop tent, you can also choose to have an awning, uh, you can choose to have a solar panel on the top, the rails will allow you to put some T-nuts and that will be very easy to use after that. Finally, we have some awnings also that uh, we use from time to time and we sell them too, uh, if needed. I think that gives you quite a good tour about our minivan. Um, like I said, this conversion kit, we built it in Montreal, we designed it in Montreal. We now ship it into the US, that is uh, something new in 2022. So yeah, this conversion kit is very convenient because you can use it even for a weekend trip, uh, for a longer trip. We did travel for two months across the US uh, with this conversion kit and that was super convenient. One of the advantages is that you can use it in your everyday car. It's easy to park in a city with a Dodge Green Caravan. Um, the Pacifica Hybrid doesn't consume a lot too. And I think that's a good point right now considering the gas price. Uh, you will definitely save a lot on, on, on the price and you will get more money for your road trip, you know. This conversion kit altogether comes with all the wood pieces, um, the mattresses, the removable cushion, the 20 liter water tank, the sink, the stove, um, the table that you have seen outside is included too, the, the, the table leg. And all of this is 4200. Um, you can check this out online, you can check out on vanpackers.com. Um, you can check out we our website in French if you want on lebarouder.ca and you will get all the details. I'm pretty sure you will have some more questions about how to unfold the kit, how to put it in the vehicle. So maybe what I can do at last is to show you how to fit that kit into the vehicle and to remove it, no? All right, let's do it. As you have seen, it's quite easy to remove from the vehicle. We did it in a minute. And also the way you can see the conversion kit like this is the way you will receive it. So it goes on a pallet, it's a 48 by 40. And even the mattresses, we use them as a protection on the side so it helps to avoid damage during the transport. And we thought about every aspect. So I talked to you earlier about the butterfly screws. Then we will use them again to secure this into the kitchen and make sure nothing moves. And uh, we even registered the Van Packers conversion brand and also patented the, the conversion kit itself. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for taking the time today to give us a tour <laughs> of your beautiful creation and company. 
This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it. We'll see you soon.